Hey YouTube, you're watching Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works and I am your Friday vlogger, Leanna. So let me get right into it. This week's question is, um, past, present, and future self, what would you say? Um, to hear, knowing what you know now, what would your present self say to your past self about weight loss surgery? Uh, and looking and looking forward into your future how do you want your life to look in the future knowing what you know in the present about weight loss surgery so um, I'll just kind of answer it in the order it was given uh, knowing what you know now what would your present self say to your past self about weight loss surgery um, Knowing what I know now, um, the mental, um, I had no idea that I had mental issues and, um, you know, I, I feel like I did go into it pretty prepared, but, uh, I thought I knew myself better than I did. Um, I didn't realize I was going to have all these, uh, mental issues, I didn't realize I was addicted to food or, um, or I, I denied the fact that I was addicted to food because I mean, come on, I knew I was addicted to food. I was obese, right? But I guess I was in denial until I had weight loss surgery and having weight loss surgery, uh, did not, um, it, it didn't do what I thought it was going to do uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, I thought I was going to have a lot more restriction than I do on my food. And um, if I were to, you know, tell my past self something, it would be, you know, you're going to have to work on the mental and um, you're addicted to food and that um, you're not going to be restricted with anything that you want to eat. And, uh, let's see here. And looking forward into the future. Um, how do you want your life to look in the future knowing what you know in your present weight loss surgery? Um, you know, I'm two years in, I don't know, four months post-op lap band. I have pretty much, I don't know how to say this, um, I have the opportunity to create the perfect body and um, and that's what I'm looking forward to for my next is um, I had weight loss surgery I have you know lost the weight that I've wanted to lose and I had reconstructive surgery so I now have the breast I've always wanted and I have the stomach I've always wanted. And um, now it is just up to me to, um, I guess, tone and sculpt and, and create the body I guess I've, I've always wanted. And you know, I couldn't have that with extra skin and, um, no boobs, you know? So for my future self, you know, it's, it's a matter of, of staying focused, uh, you know, just keeping what I know, you know, since having weight loss surgery, you know, just sticking to what I know and, and doing what I do best and, and really, you know, continue to work on that mental because that mental is the hardest part for me. And so, um, you know, looking into the future, I want to create the perfect body that I've always wanted. So, um, I'm really excited for that and, uh, what the future holds, you know, because it's a goal that's now, um, how do you say it, uh, obtainable? I, I can now reach that goal. Um, so I'm really looking, uh, forward to that. So, um, past, present, future. I think I answered all of it. You know, um, this, 
this, you know, having weight loss surgery comes with many, many struggles uh, for me anyways. Uh, my journey has not been easy. You know, I don't have the food restrictions that uh, most people have when having lap band. Um, I can still eat a full hamburger. I can still eat fries. Um, you know, I can still eat pasta. I can still eat bread. I can still eat cupcakes. I can still eat everything and anything. And, um, I can still eat all that and be too tight, if that makes any kind of sense. So, you know, this journey is really about, uh, for me, you know, learning how to change my, my life, my lifestyle and, and still, and still be able to enjoy the things that I've always, you know, enjoyed. So, um, you know, it, it's a fine balance that I've had to learn that I didn't think I was going to have to learn uh, pre-weight loss surgery. Uh, you know, going into having weight loss surgery, I assumed I wasn't going to be able to do this, I wasn't going to be able to do that. And, you know, having weight loss surgery and coming to the realization that, oh shit, <laughs> you know, um, your life really hasn't changed when it comes to food because you can still eat everything. Uh, my portions may be a little bit smaller, but it, it's not, it's not what I thought it was going to be. So, you know, my present self realizes that and, and knows that there's changes that, you know, have to be made. And I constantly, you know, have to step on the scale and, and measure out my food and count my calories and count my protein. Um, I'm on a little bit of a, a hiatus, I guess you could say, right now, uh, because I did have a reconstructive surgery and I, I'm, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things of counting calories and, and stuff, which has been, um, kind of difficult. So, um, you know, it's, it's a learning curve and, you know, I, I want my future self to, to, to be where I am, you know, I don't want, I want my future self to be a better version of I, of what I am today. Um, I want to um, have more control over the mental game, you know, in the future. And that's what I work on, you know, every day. So hopefully that answers the question and I will see you guys next week.